Hey Steve, you need a mentor, you need a coach, you need somebody to show you the way. Right, but now if you're watching this video, you can't be Steve. None of you can be Steve anymore because I'm telling you that you need a mentor or coach to help you grow your business to the next level. So the importance of having a mentor or a coach, it's revolutionary and it'll take your business to a whole new level. I can promise you that. Just like a basketball player, whether professional or young, just starting off, they need a coach to show them the plays, to show them how to condition their body, right? To show them what muscles to work, to show them when to pass the ball and how to pass it and when to drive to the basket. All those things are important and they might not seem like the things that that player needs to be doing, but if that player is taught by a good coach, then they can drive to the basket when necessary. They can pass the ball when necessary. They can make those educated decisions based on the experience of somebody else, the importance of having a coach. And just like it's important to have a mentor or a coach in sports or athletics, it's super important to have a mentor and coach when you're trying to grow a business, right? If you're trying to seal real estate deals, you should probably find someone who sealed real estate deals and can guide you through the process who knows how to fill out the paperwork, who knows what contracts you're gonna need, right? Who knows how to list a property, who knows how to sell a property, someone who's done it before. It will revolutionize the way you do business. Mentoring's more about keeping what you have by using someone else's experience. So let's say you're three years into your business, right? So you're three years in, and here you have time over success. And you got two people. Those two people are Jen, in blue and Steve in red, right? Now Jen has a mentor, right? And Jen and Steve are in the exact same places in their business. We're gonna use real estate because we were just talking about it, right? So they're selling houses, they're flipping them, they're both making some money, they got some money in the bank, equivalent money, they have some employees working for them. Um, and Jen decides like, hey, I'm at a point now where I really don't know what to do next with my business, how to take it to the next level. I can't get past that. Let's say they're both doing $1 million in sales, right? They're both at a million and they're looking for ways to grow that million. And Jen decides to go with a coach, right? And Steve does it. So Steve, he continues to struggle because Steve, he can't figure out what the next step is because he's not getting advice from anybody. He didn't find a mentor or coach who's been through the real estate hustle and understands how to take that business of five employees to 10 employees, to 15 employees, to 40 employees, to 50 employees. He, just, he doesn't have that information available to him because Steve didn't get a mentor or coach. So Steve, over time, will have four years, five years, six years, seven years, and success, we're gonna have here at the baseline, they're both at one million, here we'll have two million, here we'll have three million, here we'll have four million. So Steve, his success is going to be much lower than Jen's success because she got a mentor or a coach who's been through it before and can show her the way. So Steve's success is gonna look like this, right? We got Steve in red. So Steve's success is gonna look like this. It's gonna be consistent, but it's gonna take Steve much longer seven, what are we at? Eight here, nine years, right? So for Steve, to reach that three mil, it's gonna take Steve nine more years, right? Because he's just going through trials and tribulations and he's hiring some employees and firing some some employees. He's still in the same office because he can't grow. He doesn't have the information to grow, right? But Jen, she took on a mentor who's been in the real estate industry for 30 plus years and has built a business with a team of 50 plus employees and they're pumping out deals left and right. So Jen uses her mentor's experience, because that's what it's all about. It's all about your mentor's experience. That's what you need to gain from them. That's the purpose of having a mentor or coach, because they're experienced in something that you may not be experienced in, right? So Jen is gonna use the experience that she gained and the knowledge that she gained from her mentor to make her sales skyrocket, right? And she's gonna use this this knowledge and her success is going to look much greater 
than Steve's success. So here we got Steve, and here we got Jen. Right, so Jen, nine years in, is at, she made it all the way up to five million. Right, so Jen's at five million. So we got Jen at five mil, and we got Steve at three mil, and this is nine years later, right? So Jen was able to grow her business much more rapidly than Steve was because Steve was either too stubborn or nobody told him. That's okay, maybe nobody told him, hey Steve, you need a mentor, you need a coach, you need somebody to show you the way. Right, but now if you're watching this video, you can't be Steve. None of you can be Steve anymore because I'm telling you that you need a mentor or coach to help you grow your business to the next level. And I'm not talking, you know, an on your way to work mentor. Those motivational videos you watch are fantastic. They are great. I watch them every day as well. On my way to work, I, I either listen to Gary Vee or I listen to Grant Cardone. Um, I, there's tons of people I listen to. But that's not... A mentor or a coach, a mentor or a coach is someone you can work with one-on-one -on -one and can, who can show you the way. So you don't wanna be Steve. And for all you Steves out there, I apologize. But you don't wanna be Steve, and you don't have to be Steve, because I'm telling you not to be Steve. You wanna be more like Jen, and you wanna get a mentor so you can be more like Jen and have your success skyrocket up to this five mil in nine years instead of being like Steve, where he's at three mil in nine years, right? So Jen was able to grow her business much more rapidly because she had the guidance of someone who's done it before. The importance of doing it. We mentor a lot of people over here at Amazon. And one of the questions I get a lot from our clients, and just especially when we do like live sessions is, is like, what books do I recommend? And what books do I recommend they read to be successful? And really the answer to that question is like all of them. Because if you don't read it, it can't help you. So I'm not sure which books can help you directly unless I obviously know maybe what industry you're in that I can recommend some books. But the best way to do it is just read as many books as you can to grow. I try to not limit my experiences with knowledge. I'm trying to gain as much knowledge as possible. So if I could pull some knowledge from this person and some knowledge from this person and increase this success line much more drastically and quicker because the goal is to hit this five mil by six years or maybe hit this five mil by four years into your business, the quicker you can get the more drastic this line is, right? The, the best way would to be here, right? The closer it is to this access, the more successful you are, right? So if you could do, and if you get a mentor and three and a half years in, you're pumping out five mil, you took your business from one mil to five mil, then that mentor was worth every single penny you invested in them, right? And a lot of mentors, they're not free of charge. Some you could find if you build a relationship with them, it's definitely possible. Others you gotta pay for, but it's a small investment. It's a long-term investment. It's an end game investment. So it might seem like a lot of money up front, but I could promise you and guarantee you from my own experience, someone who has multiple mentors, that it is a good investment to help you grow in your business. Find somebody with experience and use their experience to help your business grow. You don't have to do this by yourself. So if you got one thing out this video, it's find a mentor who knows what they're talking about in the industry that you're in and approach them and ask them if they can show you the way. Right? Even if it's gonna cost you some money, it's well worth it to invest. Because Steve, who wasn't willing to invest any money, in nine years, he's at three mil, right? But Jen, let's say she had to pay her mentor $100,000 a year, $100,000 a year. So three years to nine years, that's six years. So she invested 600,000 in her mentor, right? And she's at five mil. So if we subtract that 600,000 from five mil, we're now at 4.4 .4 million, while Steve is still at three million. So this is Jen, this is Steve. So even though she invested 100,000 a year in a valuable, experienced mentor, 
she still, after nine years, is making more money than Steve and is more successful than Steve. And I'm sure is employing more people than Steve. So not only is she flying in her pockets with money and happiness, she's also employing more people and helping them live their dreams out and provide food for their families. So get a mentor. You do not want to miss out on the power of mentoring. It will change your life. I promise you. Thanks for watching this video. Stay lit.